Hey guys, it's Layla. Today we'll speak about the arterial supply of the bowel. All arise from the abdominal aorta. First you have the celiac trunk, then the superior mesenteric artery, and then finally the inferior mesenteric artery. The celiac trunk is at T12. If you go one down, you go to L1. If you go two down, you go L3 for the inferior mesenteric artery. You have the celiac axis on top, we have the superior mesenteric artery, further below we have the inferior mesenteric artery. Okay, starting with the celiac trunk, you have one branch that goes to the right and two that go to the left. So starting with the two branches to the left, the first one is the left gastric artery, gives branches to the esophagus and to the lesser curvature of the stomach later it will anastomose with the right gastric artery the second branch is the splenic artery it gives terminal branches so the first one is the left gastroepiploic artery which supplies the greater curvature of the stomach then you have the short gastric artery supplying the fundus of the stomach and then the pancreatic branches supplying the body and the tail of the pancreas as you can see here. Moving to the branch that goes to the right, so you have the common hepatic artery. It has two branches. One is the gastroduodenal artery that gives rise to the right gastroepiploic artery, which supplies the greater curvature of the stomach, and then the superior pancreaticoduodenal artery supplying the head of the pancreas. Then you have the proper hepatic artery which gives right gastric branches that supply the pylorus and the lesser curvature of the stomach as I mentioned earlier they anastomose with the left gastric artery then you have the right and left hepatic arteries okay moving on to the superior mesenteric artery you have got the inferior pancreatic or duodenal artery which supplies the head and the uncinate process of the pancreas and the duodenum. Then you have the jejunal arteries, the ileal arteries supplying the jejunum and the ileum, the small bowel. Then you will go to the appendicular artery supplying the appendix. Then you have the anterior and posterior cecal arteries supplying the cecum. Then you have iliocolic artery. The superior mesenteric artery supplies two-thirds of the transverse colon. So you have the right colic artery and the middle colic artery supplying the ascending colon and as I mentioned two-thirds of the transverse colon. Moving on to the inferior mesenteric artery, you have the left colic artery which has an ascending and descending branches. Um, it will supply the, the distal one-third of the transverse colon and then the descending colon. You have the sigmoid artery supplying the sigmoid colon, the superior rectal artery supplying the superior rectum. It will anastomose with middle and inferior rectal arteries. You have collateral flow to the superior mesenteric arteries. So the inferior and the uh, superior mesenteric arteries are uh, connected through the marginal artery of Dremont and the arc of Riolan. You can see it over here. Okay, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye.